So I'm in a gunfight and we're on St. Petrograd. Uh, people don't mention this as one of the worst maps. This is a very bad map. And I'm using the M4 and for some reason the M4 just runs through bullets like you look I got 24 bullets left already like the M4 just runs through bullets I got one bullet left and it's a guy over there I'm like all right I'm just gonna predator him or cruise missile this guy and run up and pick up his um his gun and 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 look what like in game that's me and what like like what just happened we're looking in slow motion. He didn't bend the corner or anything. Just nothing happened. Like, <laughs> this game really needs some help. Yo, this your boy Jive Turkey live from the two, one, mother fucking five. five. As you can see, I'm playing some climb of duty. Modern Warfare HD. D, 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 Somebody in my stream said D, Climb of Duty. Thought that was real funny. And it was another name, but I can't remember. I'll probably say it on my next video. Who thought of St. Petrograd? Um, a street with trolleys in the middle of trolleys it. in the middle of trolleys it. in the middle of it. But the trolleys are on the same angle as the street. The trolleys are vertical just like the street who thought of that what wow such a bad map and nobody says it's that bad they they keep picking on piccadilly even though piccadilly is very bad but like damn st petrograd is terrible it's, it's just a campy uh, well all the maps are campy but I don't want to just rant about how bad the maps are. It's so much things that's, that's wrong with this game. And footsteps, you heard him in the game. He said, Why did, how did they camp on this map? Like, they camp, they always camp in this game because of the footsteps. It's, it's just nev it's never going to be fixed unless they put Ninja as a perk or, or something or fix the footsteps somehow. It's just not going to be fixed. It's just going to be a continuous thing. 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 They don't really care. Like, I was going to say, if they they don't listen to their community, the game is just going to die. But I, honestly, they don't care. Like, as long as they people, idiots, keep buying microtransactions and saying, oh, man, I... I just want to see how that new gun was. It, it's this gun that shoots blue tracer rounds. And it's very powerful. I think it's the Kilo. I don't know. I picked it up once, but I it was like so fast. I didn't really know what kind of gun it was. I just picked it up and it was a beast. A beast. Everybody that I go against that uses it, since it's skill-based matchmaking, are on my level or better. And they fucked me up because their gun is just better. It's basically pay to win. And a couple of people I know just was like, ah, I had to get the weapon because, you know, I just wanted to play with it. Like, <laughs> people keep buying this stuff and it's, it's going to be an ongoing cycle. People are just going to keep buying the DLC and uh, whatever. They're just going to keep doing it. I'm not touching a D. I didn't touch a DLC since uh, Pepperoni Piazza. Um, what what game was that? My, Modern Warfare Three. I didn't like buy maps since Modern Warfare Three. Since Modern Warfare Three. Since Modern Warfare. I might be mistaken. Maybe, but I I I don't think I touched any maps since Modern Warfare Three. I do remember. Well, well, probably Black Ops Two. Because I do remember playing on that map with the, with the, um, it was snowy and it's a map where the, the, the ski 
cars go through the middle of it and then they kill you if they touch you i remember playing on that map and that's dlc so black ops 2 was the last time i touched some kind of dlc like even if i had to play 10 bucks you know i i paid for some dlc just imagine if nobody bought dlc for this game this early it's early it's two months maybe three into the game super early imagine if no one bought the shit that's why they got the skill-based matchmaking so the um um the, the scrubs will buy the, the um dlc and have fun you know they they're protected they're in their own little lobby 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 having fun lobby, but lobby, it's fucked up you know, we, we keep buying the game. That's that's going to be a given. We're going to buy the game. I'm I'm going to buy the game if it's a... Mili like, if Black Ops 5 come out and they be like, oh, it's just boots on the ground. It's like, basically like Modern Warfare, but just Treyarch made it. I'm buying it. You know, I'm, I'm just going to fucking buy the game. You know, if it's a robotic game, I'm not buying it. If it's futuristic, ray guns, and you're in a Halo suit, I'm not buying it. This is what sold me the game. The military M4s, AKs, and this and that. That's what sold me the game. You know, I know these guys aren't Infinity Ward. They're somebody else. Uh, I never heard of Joe C. Scott or whatever his name is until this game. This clearly is in Infinity Ward. I don't remember Ashley Vulcan or whatever. I remember the Stealth Clown. I remember Wes Zampella. Even though they left Modern Warfare 2, but I'm sure uh, a lot of a lot of their input, you know, helped build Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 was a fun game. This game is fun, you know, fun. But if you get in a lobby where people just don't move, they're scared to move. All the fun goes out the window. Game needs help. Game needs help. And remember. Game needs help. Tywin Lannister is the Jive Turkey of Casterly Rock. I'm out. Did you watch Jive's older videos? And is you following Jive on Twitter? You better. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Jive. J to the IV. The crossover slow sing them like the Osleys. And yes, even back then you can find me on the Blacktop Crossover 3-0. Soon as I get the ball.